What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. I'm here today with the SRT Viper. Back in my day, they called it a Dodge Viper, but apparently we've upgraded to the SRT. Overall, it's the same build that I've already had on the channel, but there's so many new players coming to the game. There's so many people unlocking it right now that I needed to put it back in front of everybody with a refresh just to double down on making sure everybody's got the tools they need if you want to race this car. I would say honestly it's probably a little better at drift events but full disclosure I've not spent a lot of time developing that yet so myself and Nil we're not we're not fluent with the drift scene I'm not gonna bring you guys watered down builds I'm not gonna bring you a drift build for this car that I myself haven't really locked in and said yes this is the most optimal way to go and so the channels built on me bringing you the very best that any car can produce and unless I can bring you the best drift build that I know how to do, I'm not going to bring it. So maybe down the road I'll start bringing those out. But for now, I've got a good grip build in front of us. It's pretty solid. It'll do like 203 with a little red line tech. 204 actually on Rapid Transit I've got some clips of. And it says it does 188. So if you're good with the red line tech, you can get it up there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will, at the end of this one, put like a card in there you can click on. Which is how to red line tech, which is a technique that we use with our controllers to get a little more out of the car so I'll link that at the end but for now let's dig into it let's go for it uh, you guys have probably noticed by now that I've got the customs body kit on it but it's not the same way that a lot of y'all have it hacker man over here right uh, but overall I think the car looks insane right now with that setup I tried to match the purple with the purple on the turbo and then Kind of there's that yellow heat shield in behind there so or not yellow maybe an orange color so i kind of try to match the stripes to that too just to kind of bring it all together as a good theme it looks pretty sweet uh styling portion on this viper you guys if you get the stock one i'll show you there's a handful of different body kits you can get uh, you can really tweak it out the way you want it uh, change the exhaust tips do some different things now if you're using the customs one that comes with that side turbo exhaust you're locked in to what you get you can change the plate and that's it so there's really not much you can deviate from so just know that if you're getting the one through the unlocks for the speed list uh, what you get is what you get so just don't throw a fit and if you want what I have uh, tough luck cookie uh, you're, you're out of luck there but I will say that a little quirk is if I go to change this exhaust watch what happens it goes to that like uh, or that like if I change it away from what that uh, stock look is uh, that's what we end up with so obviously I'm not changing that um, and then also the side skirts if I put a side skirt on there it actually has a bunch of clipping issues and so I kind of thought about doing maybe that alchemist one because you can kind of see it going through there but it looked just too weird so uh, obviously I'm not doing that either but that's that's what you end up with when you start doing things of the level that I am with the game but I do have those really cool like blacked out carbon fiber headlights on it which I think is pretty sturdy I like that a lot so that's kind of going to cover the styling portion of the car, let you know what you're getting into with that. Now for the performance, it says it does 188, but real talk guys, it does like 203, 204, so you can really get it up there. It's 16 mile an hour off. The engine that we use in this build is the first engine over, it is the 4.9 liter V8, 225 brake horsepower when we start, that is the iron basic motor. For the parts, you do elite platinum induction. Super Gold ECU, Elite Platinum Fuel System, Elite Platinum Exhaust, and Elite Platinum Centrifugal Supercharger. Guys, we are running the Sentry for one specific reason, the top speed, but the main reason is actually the handling characteristics. I tried it with both of the uh, superchargers and I tried it also with the single turbo. This car is too rowdy. You'll see that if we tab over and we look at the torque, uh, 
1200 foot pounds of torque with the Sentry, you don't get that uh, torque until the very upper echelon of the RPMs. And so you really don't experience it on the low end. So it doesn't kill you in the corners. I tried it with the screw. I could not drive the car. It was like, you're in a corner, whoop, you're in a corner, sideways, sideways. Oh, you wanted to spin out? You wanted that piece of traffic? You wanted to go off the track over here? It was just so insane to drive. So the Sentry does two things for us. It gives us a lot better top speed, which is good in S and it makes the car actually drivable to where it's not going to just kill you coming out of the corners. So it's kind of a win-win all around. It's one of the few situations where I'm just going to straight up say the Sentry is the best way to build this car with that engine because you really don't want all that torque at the low end. It's just, they call this car the Widowmaker in real life and there's it's the Widowmaker in, a ga in the game too. Uh, so we do run the Elite Centrifugal. Trust on that guys. If you don't believe me, try it with uh, any of the other inductions and then let me know. Uh, we run the Sport Bronze Nitrous Bottle, Elite Platinum Road Suspension, we're trying to get it to hook up, Silver Pro Brakes, Elite Platinum Grip Tires, and it's everything you can do to get it to hook up. It's only 40% grip, so like we need those grippies. And then you're going to run Sport Bronze Clutch. You're going to run the Sport Bronze 5 Speed Transmission, and then you're going to run the Elite Platinum Differential. All of that together is going to give you a pretty good package deal. You're going to run nitrous drift and nitrous grip for your auxiliaries and your handling. We're going to take that slider. We're going to go 40% all the way drift as much as we can. It's not quite enough, but it'll get you through. Steering sensitivity, I run two clicks high. Go with what you feel you there, guys. You bleh, Go with what you feel there, guys. Downforce, go all the way high, back it off one. That is S329. Right there is S328. Um, you can take that and put it pretty much anywhere you want, but I'd run it at the high end, but I like to have a 329 build, so I put it there. Uh, traction control off, drift entry is brake tap. Overall, this car is pretty mid, but it does have a good top speed, so if you run it on the fish hook or rapid transit or any of those tracks where you actually get to see the top speed, it's pretty cool. Otherwise, what you're up with is 1113 on the horsepower and 1264 on the torque. It's got high numbers, but it's not crazy, crazy fast. I would say this is like mid-tier, and with the way it handles and controls, I'd say it's kind of maybe the bottom end of the mid-tier. So just be aware of that getting in, but a lot of guys are unlocking this, so if you need a way to run this car, that's the way to set it up, you guys. Stay tuned for the gameplay footage. Copium this week is the DeLorean on Yin Yang, which is a drift event with that car, so make it work, you guys. It'll be a lot of fun. Set up that DeLorean for drift, set a high score, and send it in. Uh, we've had a couple of people in protest try to get a lowest score as possible, and I've literally seen some single-digit scores come across my uh, my results. So it's it's crazy. we got everybody out here doing it. Stay tuned for that gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out, supporting me in the channel. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, we'll start the recording a little early. I want you to see this is the 188, 1113, 1264 build. I got accused in one of my videos of running a different build than what I present in the video because there's no way the car handles like that. Skill issue. Uh, anyway, volume three stuff. There was a link up going, so I only got one guy to run the playlist. Um, he's got a stock license plate, so let's see how it goes. But really, uh, what I want to show you guys is how fast this car will actually go. Uh, it says it only does 188 check this out so we're shifting through there we'll start walking that Porsche because that guy doesn't have a prayer that car is not very good anyway this will redline tech to like 202 203 we had to kind of do a little bobble there to uh, avoid not death but just taking it easy through the corners just making sure we get the most out of the uh, the drifts there nice grip turns grippium okay go onto the sidewalk so that's one thing about this car you guys it is this vehicle makes wide turns so just be aware of that going in because you will find yourself full steering lock and putting yourself in a place you don't want to be it happens to me kind of often actually when I'm driving this car so let's see if we can just get a good turn it over-rotated. What a special vehicle. 
it's not easy to drive. It's a lot better with the Sentry than it is with any other forced induction, because at least it doesn't rotate on you as much. But there's just no getting away from how it... Okay, so we're bouncing right there. Rev limit was like 190-ish. Watch this thing go. We crossed a 200, and as we progress through the playlist, uh, you'll see me hit 201, 202, 203 if I'm really on it good. Uh, this car's really got a lot on the top end, which is fantastic. So that'll be on rails. Now riding the L, if there was a track that this car was going to be a little rough on, it would be this one because it's very technical. We really don't get the opportunity to use much of the speed of the car. I mean, shoot, 150 mile an hour build would be Omega cracked on this one, so... We'll just see how it goes. Alright. Let it bounce a little bit in second, then bring us up, then catch third. Alright. We'll use that to just grip right through there. Look how wide that thing. We were full steer, and it just it goes omega wide. And it will rotate on you if you give it too much. So, like here, I'm hard on the e-brake so we can actually get through that corner with the bounce. And I'm just not shifting into fourth because I know that I'm going to be downshifting again right for that corner. So it's kind of like just... Oh, like, see, we bounced on the curb there and I lost uh, control a little bit. It's it's a finicky car. It, it really is a lot better for... <laughs> drift points events than uh, grip events, but I'm not super confident in setting up drift builds for you guys yet, so that's why I haven't brought you any, because if I can't bring you what I think is an OP, really good build, I don't want to waste my time doing it. I, I don't want to bring you guys lackluster stuff, because uh, my reputation is built on me bringing the best that that car can do for whatever class it's in. And uh, it's I, uh, I'm not there yet with the drift, you guys. So I don't want to water down my what I built the channel on, which is honesty, integrity, and real real builds. And uh, I don't want to be like, oh, here's a really good drift build, and then it turns out that it actually sucks. So <laughs> that's riding the L. Car's pretty good. No, car's mid tier. But this is the best way to set it up to actually be raceable. Uh, I think it will surprise a lot of people with the ability for it to get on the long end and actually do pretty good top speed. But uh, this guy's going to take another 10 seconds before he finishes, so I will uh, catch you guys on Rapid Transit. Alright, here we are in Rapid Transit now. I love this track. It's not the best for this car because it does tweak a little bit like it, it turns wide and so in some of the parts where you're coming around the long bend it's a little harder to avoid traffic but it's okay we'll get it through now there I waited until we kind of bounced in second for a little bit to get up to speed caught third and then started using my NOS and it gave us a good hard launch Galaxy Fox behind us is in the rear drive Lambo basically the rental but he's got a non-rental build on it Oh my god, okay. That was very scary. But what I do want to show you guys is the top speed of this car. It's awesome. So 190 through there, which is just us full powering it, right? So we will wait till we get back onto the asphalt before we cap our three bar right there. We let the car settle from being airborne before we do the three bar to get the most out of it. Now watch this. Just sat there, 204. We went down to 203 and then back up to 204. You can redline this thing up a long ways. And that's what I really wanted to show you guys. And this is the best track for uh, that example. Uh, so fish hooks another uh, one where you can really get it on the top end 
Uh, I think Get High Tonight, another one you could do that on. There's a couple tracks, but the the idea is that if you're good on the red line tech, you're patient with setting the car up for where it's actually going to be successful for you, you can really get a lot out of it. Let's do it again. Wasn't quite as good on the trigger that time, so we only got about 202 out of it, but still only 202. That's really fast for a car that says it only does 180, you know? Now that was kind of an example of the car not turning like I would have liked it to. I had to use the brake a little bit to get it to turn back in. Oh my god. Alright, cool, we're back. There was 203, so car is awesome at the top end, and that's due to the sentry giving us all that extra power. Uh, it does take a little bit of red line tech to get it where you need to go, but if you're looking for a grip drive version of the Viper, this is the best setup I can give you. I mean, this is like actually pub stomping material for uh, S-Class. It takes a little practice to drive, but it's not bad overall. But guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Hopefully we'll get some more people uh, racing with us after Volume 3 quiets down a little bit. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.